Hi, I already have a video on how to remove tattoos. So in this one, uh, suggested by one of my subscribers, I'm going to show you how to add a tattoo, and I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to do it on uh, two images. One is with this man, and this is going to be the tattoo, and with this a woman here, and this is going to be the tattoo. All of the images I have uh, downloaded from Pixabay, which is a, a website for free images. And as you can see, both tattoos are uh, on a transparent background, which is important. So if you are downloading an image which you want to use as a tattoo and add it, you should uh, search for one that is on a transparent background, or if you are creating your own uh, tattoo, also you should be creating this on a transparent background because it will be a lot easier to add to the desired image so let's get started with this one and first of course this is very big so we need to scale it down select the layer with the, this image then grab the scale tool click here make sure we click on this chain so uh, we keep the aspect ratio we uh, resize both the width and the height at the same time just click and drag like this to make it smaller and let's leave it like this and click scale next with the move tool grab this image and position it somewhere around here the next thing I want to do is to reduce the opacity of this layer with the image of the tattoo so just let's reduce it to 60 to see how it's going to look and this looks pretty good we can play around with this and see how it looks better I think around 60 is good we can also rotate it to adjust the position even further with the rotate tool just click and we can place it like this for example what we can do next is we can use the cage transform tool to give this image uh, to deform it a little bit to look some more natural on the body now as you can see here this layer the image is almost uh, at the edge of the layer here which is not good when using the cage transform tool so what I'm going to do is go to the image actually go to the layer and uh, choose the uh, layer boundary size so from over here we can adjust the size of the boundary of the layer so for example if I want to add let's say 50 pixels I'll click shift plus and add 50 pixels click enter to add this and it, you can see here that this added 50 pixels to the side here we can center this and for example add another 50 pixels for the height click enter and center it again then click resize and now we have more space to work with then grab the cage transform tool and let's zoom a little more with the control key and turning the mouse wheel and we can just create a cage here around the image then we can uh, grab some of these points and just move them and this will as you can see deform the image so if you want to look to make it look like uh, it's stretched at some parts and in other parts it's contracted just grab one of these points and just adjust it until you get the result that you want and once you're ready you can just click the enter key to apply this transformation and let's see how this looks maybe we can reduce the opacity a little more maybe to 55 and yes this looks pretty good the other tattoos here I didn't add so I'm trying to make it look like it's uh, close to the colors of these and I think it looks pretty good now let's move to the other image and do something a little bit more difficult here so I'm going to again select the layer with the tattoo and 
click on the scale tool make sure this is uh, locked so we can adjust both the width and the height and scale this down to this for now grab the move tool click on this and let's make it smaller maybe something like this for now then let's rotate it again click on it and let's rotate it in this position the move tool click and select now we can leave it here for example and again adjust the opacity let's say to something like this this time a little more than the previous image and it looks pretty nice but let's say if we want to position this over here now if I leave this over here the way it is you see that it doesn't look very good it doesn't seem like the it's going uh, with the curves of the body here so this is not good again we can try to adjust this with the cage transform tool just zoom in here and uh, create points and the more points points we create uh, uh, the better it will be because you have more control over adjusting click here to close this and now we can try to work with this I'm trying to make it sort of contract here so I'll push these points like this and here expand a little bit maybe Now unfortunately GIMP doesn't have a, a very good cage transform tool. There is a tool that I am expecting with, um, uh, which is supposed to come with the new major version of GIMP which is called the endpoint deformation tool which is supposed to have a lot more options and will produce great results when you're trying to achieve something like this. But for now we don't have much choice just this tool and as you can see it doesn't really help much in some situations but it still does get some of what we want done so you see let's let's just apply this with the enter key and now it looks a little better it looks like it's contracted over here something else that we can do is we can uh, make sure the layer is selected again then go ahead and grab the brush tool and set the mode to soft light or hard light or overlay for now let's try the overlay and uh, let's see the brush size here reduce the opacity and let's see how this is going to look so basically I want to make this part of the tattoo here where there is a shadow darker well, let's undo this and make the brush smaller just let's say 15 pixels and paint over here let's undo this again Control z two times and reduce the opacity even more okay let's zoom out and see how this looks now paint a little more here and it does look a little bit better it does look like it's kind of going with the body curves it could be a little better if I play with it a little more but this is the basic tools that I would use to add a tattoo I'll add the image then I'll reduce the opacity a little bit and the point of reducing the opacity is to make uh, some of the skin texture appear uh, below the tattoo and this way make it look like uh, it's actually on the body so play around with the opacity of the image then position resize and after that use the cage transform tool to make it look stretched at some places or contracted and then you can also use a brush with an overlay mode or one of these other modes depending on which one works best for the image you can experiment with this low opacity brush and this is how you can sort of fake shadows 
and make it look like it's actually going with the curves of the body. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that it was useful. If it was, like it, leave a comment, visit my channel for more. If you are new, subscribe. That's it for this one. Bye.